we have to talk about Etna, the volcano in Italy, because the activity is intensifying again. It's been active for months now. We've seen pictures a few weeks ago where tourists are fleeing Etna, people ski skiing next to lava. And always, guys, I am thinking about the video that I produced about Etna. Almost nobody knows about this, that Etna is breaking apart and it's falling into the sea. That will be an underwater landslide that will cause a catastrophic tsunami. Did you know that, guys? Many of you probably don't know, unless you are a subscriber of my channel, of course, then you do, um, that Etna can even reach into the sea. So I'll put this video in the end screen for you to watch, guys, because if you're interested in, in what Edna's doing right now, you have to know about this. Because every trembling, every tremor, every eruption can get this thing going. And if you've seen my videos about the landslides in Alaska recently, where a mountain collapses into the water and in that basin has produced a tsunami wave, an initial wave of 1,740 feet, then you should really watch what Etna could do to the beautiful sea. It's unbelievable. But now we're talking about its eruptive phase, which is certainly impressive what it is doing right now. Effusive vents, explosive activity, lava flows. We're also seeing thermal images that the INGV has released. We're seeing the video that the INGV has released of this eruption. So it's persistent that it's doing this. And right now it started doing this at the southeast crater. So we can always have something that could be a crack open on the side. The, the Bocca Nuovo crater is always good for something. So it has certain areas where it likes to erupt and then it forms new cones. At some areas, Mount Etna is getting higher because of that. Then some crater collapses a little bit, it might get shorter, but basically these craters, they're getting higher and the height of certain areas of Etna are varying and are changing with the eruptive activity. So you never know how tall the mountain actually is at the moment, because of course, if lava flows and lava is accumulating while it's coming out and then flowing, that's how these stratovolcanoes basically form, right? Vesuvius, for example. Don't get me started talking about Campi Flegri, guys. We have another earthquake swarm there. You really should watch my last two videos a German researcher said it's we're ready this thing can blow absolutely crazy new data and new findings in the end screen but you should really subscribe so that you can see everything you have to go to my playlist Campi Flegri and now Etna I have a playlist activity in Italy Strombolian explosions and effusive lava flows persisted at Mount Etna southeast crater in Sicily basically continuously from August 14th until today. Um, the active vents are at a height of approximately, well, roughly 10,000 feet, a little less than 10,000 feet, 3,000 meter, a less 2,980 meters. But again, that is changing anyways. So we have another one also at over 10,000 feet that is active right now. And then we have another one at 10,500 feet above sea level. And we do have these volcanic tremors, the volcanic earthquakes, that's what it is. They remain elevated in a level from moderate to elevate it. Of course, this is a volcano we're not seeing like magnitude six or seven or something like this. Well, hopefully, but guys, if that landslide crashes, we could see higher earthquakes. This, this could cause trembling for sure. And speaking about earthquakes and speaking about Sicily, we just had a 4.8 magnitude earthquake west of Sicily. So it was striking the sea region west of Sicily. People felt it. People were startled. People were like, what is going on? So basically the West Coast was really shaken and they felt it. I mean, of course, 4.8, we can say that's a moderate earthquake, but it wasn't very deep. And that's why um, 
you feel it stronger. So the epicenter was located 72 kilometers north, west northwest of Favignana and depth of roughly 10 kilometers at seven miles. It was clearly felt by residents and tourists in Western Sicily. And of course it was shaking the tourists probably more than the locals because the locals are a little bit more uh, accustomed to earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. But especially in, in one area in Trapani, people were like, whoa, right? And um, the, the local residents did not freak out that much, but the tourists were really, really scared. Maybe many of them have watched my videos recently about what's happening in Santorini, for example, and, and you know, the combination of earthquakes and volcano. Maybe they have watched my video about what could happen to Etna, because then never fall asleep on the beach, because if that tsunami comes, it comes so fast. It comes right away. Reports are there is no damage from this earthquake. Is this related to Etna? Most likely, very, very likely not. It's not. It was related to fault lines that are in the Pelagian Sicilian thrust belt. So that's there too. Lots of seismic activity in this area. It's part of the Apennine Sicilian Maghreb fold and thrust system. Geez, we're learning about more of them every day, right? There's so many. It's it's not that peaceful in this region. So they are basically formed these thrust systems by the collision of the African and European plates. And the tectonic structure of these faults is characterized by intense folding, has to fold, right? If they're being pushed against each other and thrusting of rock units as a result. It is a result of the rollback of the Ionian lithosphere and the associated clockwise rotation of tectonic units in this area. So now what is a rollback? You probably ask yourselves, right? We have subduction zones, we have slip slide. So what are the plates doing now? So rollback is a process in subduction zones, actually, in which like the sinking crustal plate that is going underneath the other plate, it's not only sinking into the mantle of the earth, but simultaneously it shifts its subduction margin backwards. So this means that the subduction zone migrates actually towards the subducting plate. So this is what's happening in the region west of Sicily, basically simultaneously with the Etna eruption. So this rollback always comes with increased seismic activity. That's why we're seeing this. This is not Etna. Can that have an effect on Etna? It could. Because we've seen this just recently in Kamchatka, where the mega thrust earthquake triggered volcanoes. And by the way, we just had another aftershock there, 6.1. They keep coming in the high magnitudes. So Sicily, recurrent earthquakes attributable to the complex plate boundary and thrust dynamics that are happening there. And we always, where we have subduction zones, there we have volcanoes, like on the West Coast. So we have persistent tectonic stress in the Sicily area. A very dynamic thrust belt. Then we had three more quakes north of Sicily. So the Tyrrhenian Sea is being shaken quite a bit right now. Strongest in the north had a magnitude of 2.9, so smaller than the one in the west. Was located south of the Aeolian island of Filicudi. And two weaker quakes at an island that is equally a, a volcano that we know qu quite well. Two earthquakes east of the volcanic island of Stromboli. That also kept us quite busy in the recent months and years. So let's see what Etna will do. We have some tables with increased thermal activity where you can see this is equivalent with the lava that is coming out. So certainly impressive what this guy can do. And 
If you liked what you saw, please fill me up with coffee. Scroll down underneath this video. Go to mybuymeacoffee.com slash silky site. It really helps the channel a lot. It all goes towards my animals, my farm animals to support that. And of course, to fill me up with coffee so that I can do these videos. So guys, thank you so much for doing that. Thank you for your supers. Hello to all new members that clicked the join button. I will show you something about Woody. Maybe you will recommend recognize him he has a pretty Bavarian style right now because this is where we are hint hint members will see the silver level members will see the full video I'm taking you with me so stay tuned guys check out the videos in the end screen it'll blow your mind it's groundbreaking I see you there bye bye